What is up guys, welcome back. Uh, today we are going to do TOA 480. I actually decided to record this just in case anyone is like actually stuck on this level. Um, but if you pass 70, I don't think it's possible for you to stuck at be stuck at 80 because 80 is just like 10 times easier than 70. Uh, if you can, you know, OPCC stun lock 70, then 80 is just much easier because there, there are only three monsters and even if they do get a turn there's not really any risk of you dying if your units are tanky enough so uh, I'm just gonna run through 80 and with the you know general strategy mostly it's just like any boss floor in TOA on the um, the the Ifrit boss rotation it's, it's mainly just about attack bar decreasing the boss you know keeping provoke on him and then just uh, stunning the the units on the side over and over as much as you can so I'm, I'm going at it with this team you know, my my usual TOA hard team, um, this is probably the team I use to clear, like, the majority of fours. Ever since I got Mev, I, I've been using Mev a lot. Um, I used to have two teams that I switch around. I used to use Zinc and, um, and Verd. Um, when I use Zinc, I, mo it's, it's when I, I, I'm not confident enough to stun every single person, like, you know, um, chain CC every, everyone. Then I use Zinc's attack bar, or not attack bar, um, attack debuff. I, I don't know. I'm I'm fucked up again. <laughs> there 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 has just been too much farming. There has just been too much farming. Um, uh, I use Zinc's attack power decrease to decrease the the attack power of like all the enemies, so they don't hit me as hard. So even if they do get a turn, I'm not really in any danger of dying. Um, I use Zinc on floors where it's not like the end of the world if the enemies get a turn. But for floors where I need to chain CC, like make sure everyone is done, um, I used to use Verd. But now I now that Mev exists, I, I use Mev. Um, he does do Verd's job better than Verd for for TOA hard. Um, you know, as of now, because he's in this like really OP state right now. This thing is it's a three turn cooldown, but the thing is this this works for his own third skill. So technically, it's only on a two-turn cooldown. So you can decrease everyone's cooldown by one turn every two turns, which makes Mev really, really broken right now. Um, and I've kind of been abusing that, but at the same time, I don't really need to because I can always just use Verd and and do the same thing to this floor. Um, but I, I still think Mev is a is a good monster to six star, even if they do nerf him in the future, because his his third skill, you, all you really needed to do is to decrease everyone's cooldown by one turn while they while they have it active so you just need to set mev speed to be slightly slower than everyone else's so you want to make sure everyone else gets a turn to do do what they want first and then you have mev that goes right after and um and uses his skill to reset the cooldown of, of everyone i don't know why i'm lagging so hard but either way, back to this floor. I'm just gonna chain CC, you know, dot up the side monsters, and then um, and then kill the lich. For most floors, you, you do want to do this. The safe way to clear any floor, obviously, is to is to kill the monsters on the side with dots, and then very slowly take down the boss. Um, usually, it's harder to take down the boss fast in TOA hard, especially on higher floors like 80 and up, because the boss has like you know just crazy amounts of HP, and you you really can't nuke him down. And the side monsters die a lot faster with dots. So right now I'm just gonna de keep decreasing his, his attack bar and then use Spectra's um, special assault whenever Spectra's cooldown is up, and uh, this really speeds up boss fights. Spectra is a really good unit to have for any TOA boss fight because he, uh, you know, he t he takes down the boss really fast. So there's less risk of um, you know bad things happening when you you know when you end the fight faster, and uh, it just it just makes your run faster overall. So you don't waste too much time. You know, you doing, uh, you know, a thousand a hit on onto this boss who has like, I think I estimate like, I don't know, maybe, um, a few hundred thousand HP, probably. Yeah, I think I think he's pretty much done. So I, I basically wanted to record this for just in case anyone has any trouble. But if you didn't have trouble with seventy. You really shouldn't have any trouble with 80 because it's just 10 times easier than 70. Um, 70 is the Breda, no, not Breda, it's the Dark Soul floor. And that, that floor, if the boss gets one turn, you're just dead. But on this floor, you don't you don't even need to care. Like The boss can go as many turns as he wants, um, as long as your units are tanky enough. 
you can just keep healing back and then just keep decreasing his attack bar, provoking and all that, all that good stuff. I don't know if Basalt will have any risk of dying if I auto. Probably not. Yeah, this should be fine. Just uh, keep my stun on him, keep my glancing, keep decreasing his attack bar, and then, um, yeah, and just basically hit, keep hitting him. Alright, so I'm planning to finish TOA hard, like all of TOA hard. Um, I wasn't I wasn't able to finish it yesterday because I was on double EXP. Like there was a double EXP pack that was running out, so I, I spent all of yesterday just farming double EXP. Um, you know, I, you, you still gotta you still gotta make new six stars. You can't ever stop making six stars in this game. You just gotta keep making six stars and getting better runes and then getting more monsters so you can do more things. Um, and that's that's pretty much the the fun of the game is just to make new monsters and then try out new things or else it, it gets boring using the exact same team you know over and over again for everything uh, but early on you do kind of have to do that because you don't have all the monsters you need so you you focus on your your core monsters first and then after when you can pretty much do everything like where where I'm at in the game you can just um, you know six star whatever you want um I'm, some people asked about TOA 60, and I'm planning to go back and do a run of 60 after I finish TOA hard. I should have it finished um, probably tomorrow or the day after. I'm probably going to just keep farming this tonight. Each floor takes like 20 minutes to do. It just takes forever. Um, I don't have a Thrain or a Hemos, which is why the floors just take super long. Um, I only have one one Dot Monster, which is Breda. So it it probably takes like, you know, twice as long as people using Thrain or Hemos. Um, but it's fine, I'm able to clear it. I'm having no problems. And there's no really no reward to to clearing TOA super TOA hard super fast besides um, besides like having your name on the ranking. And it, it's always fun to have your name on the ranking. Um, but it it doesn't it doesn't matter that much. So I'm gonna finish TOA hard, and then I'll go back to 60. I'm I'm planning to try 60 with with um, a team that doesn't involve like basalt, and maybe I'll use something else like besides basalt. Maybe uh, throw in throw in zinc, throw in talc. Hopefully that works. And yeah, just keep using Mev because Mev is just so OP broken. People who are stuck on TOA hard uh, should probably six star Mev like at ASAP. Even if he's getting nerfed in the future, which he definitely is. There's there's already news um, that they're gonna make his his second skill like three turn cooldown. But it's it's still worth it because I think even with with a three turn cooldown, he's still a very strong monster for TOA hard and like definitely key to clearing a lot of floors. Um, and this TOA rotation is probably a a really nice rotation to try to aim to clear all of TOA hard. So if you're usually like stuck on 70, or you usually just pass 70 and then you don't go any further, uh, this rotation might be a, a you know a good one to try to try to clear all the way. Um, the only problem I think you'll have is floor 88. I think um, there's going to, going to be the Dark Yeti floor, which is on 88, and that floor you really can't pass unless you you have Neil or some um, I think some people use the light golem or some just some crazy really tanky light monster to tank the dark yeti's damage. Um, the reason for that is you can't change some of the yetis. I'll I'll do a guide on that floor once I once I get there, probably tonight or tomorrow. And this is just taking forever. I'm probably going to stop this. And this this has gone on to be become a rant. I, I plan to make this like three minutes, but Oh, all right, we're, we're done, we're done. Either way, I'll see you guys um, probably on floor 88 in the next video, or maybe I'll make a video about something else. Either way, peace out.